Hi friends. Have you ever thought about what learning looks like within our professional lives? Generally speaking, we go to school, we read about something, and then we wind up uh, doing that with someone watching us. And then at some point we're sort of graduated and set free and we learn to maximize our skill set. But a few years out of school, you'll probably find that, okay, I feel like I've mastered X, Y, or Z when it comes to surgery. Maybe I have figured out how to manage clients. Maybe I have figured out how to manage staff or how to train new employees. So then what? Do we look for another book? Do we go back to school? What is it that we can do to actually continue to grow and continue to learn as professionals? Now, we go to CE meetings. We're generally required to do that depending on what state you're in um, or what maybe country you're in. And I think that is a good way, but maybe there's a better way. And I think that Ryan's profession or his primary profession of coaching is a really cool way for us to learn how to actually improve ourselves. There's a pretty cool book and there's a TED talk out there about a human surgeon that essentially hired one of his previous mentor mentors to come in and be a an observer, if you will, on his surgeries. And he describes that one of his surgeries went, he thought textbook, it couldn't have gone any better. And when he got done and sat down with the person that became his coach, they had a list of dozens of things that could have been done maybe a little bit different. Little areas and little places that you can improve that you don't see when you're not having an outside observer look at what you're doing. And so this occurred to me that maybe we can think about that within our profession too. So part of what Ryan and I do is help people see the things that they can't see. And that is the point of a coach, in my opinion, is to help you see that goal and to get you there. It's very different than a teacher. It's very different than a facilitator. Uh, it's very different than a mentor. You know, those are all really valuable relationships, but a coach brings a different set of eyes and maybe isn't the person that can get themselves to that goal, but maybe is the person that can see a maximum in you and help you get to that goal that you really, really want to achieve. So with all that being said, I'm thinking today about our profession and how we learn. CE is great. I think textbooks are great. I think webinars are great. But I also think that coaching is a really cool thing for us to embrace. Athletic community has had it figured out for hundreds of years. Many, many professional athletes have coaches for strength training and running and form and throwing and hitting and pitching and all those things. We don't necessarily have that. We might have one or two people that we've learned from when it comes to surgical skills or when it comes to seeing patients or navigating relationships with clients. So what would that look like if we turn that into a conversation around coaching and actually maximize and learn from someone that has our best interest in mind and can see us in that goal position and can ultimately help us get there. These are the things that Ryan and I get the awesome opportunity to do every day and every week. And so many of you we've maybe already talked to or helped along the way. Maybe there's someone out there that you wanna put in touch with us. Please do, F feel free to share the video, share our content. We wanna help people. We want um, nothing more than this profession to be maximized and functional and sustaining. So if you have some questions for us, DM us, we'll find a time to chit chat. No obligation to you, just a little bit of free um, sounding board, if you will, and maybe someone to have you think about what your future could look like. So I hope you're having a great day. I know this is a little bit of a long one for me, and I hope that you're thinking about finding a coach. That might not be Ryan and I, but that's okay. I still think a coach is a really cool thing for you to consider. So from here on, I want you to continue to finish strong for 2019, and we're really looking forward to an awesome 2020. And I hope that you are having an awesome day. Let us know if we can do anything for you. Bye guys.